What is up folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews and today we are taking a look at Takara Tomy Transformers Masterpiece MP51 Cybertron Warrior RC. And right out of the box, very pretty, very nice, hands down the best vehicle mode masterpiece scale of any RC we've ever gotten. Hands down. It's beautiful. It, it looks like it jumped right off the screen. Uh, it's gorgeous. There you go from the top view. There's, um, I don't know if you could see it, but there are excellent details inside. That steering wheel is stationary. It doesn't turn, but very, very nicely done. Underneath, there's a lot of uh, visible robot mode, but what are you going to do? It's not really an easy design to do. From the back, really nicely done. Side, front, rolls just fine. Really nicely done. Here she is in comparison to the uh, Siege RC. All right, and I'm only doing the Siege comparison because I know a lot of people are considering um, going mainline over MP, and it's just, it's still a no-brainer for me. I'm sticking MP. She comes with a shit ton of accessories. Blast effect. Blast effect. Another blast effect. Check this out. This is uh, one of those spikes that she uses against um, the Junkions. So this snaps in so easy. I don't know what fucked me up. This piece connects right in here. Maybe I need to burn a little bit. But anyway, this piece snaps in flush and it you know, you can cut up some Junkions. I would have brought up my KFC Junkions um, if I remembered, but I didn't. So pop that piece out. She comes with this large rifle. This goes right in. I don't, I don't know why she comes with this large rifle. I'm going to have to rewatch season three. Smaller blaster. Again, this looks good. An even smaller blaster. So, you can do that any way you like, I guess. But they definitely thought of everything. A holster. Here's one of her faces. Here's another one of her faces. And another face. So, plenty of accessories. Um, let's see. MMC Azalea came with three faces, two blasters, and four different sets of hands. So, uh, she definitely comes with more, which is definitely nice. I'm going to get her into robot mode. This car mode is fantastic. I really have nothing bad to say, but I'm going to get her into her robot mode and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, um, here is RC in her robot mode and it's a love-hate. There's no question about it. She looks like she jumped off the screen. My issues are mainly with the backpack. It's huge. <laughs> it's fucking huge. Her head looks big in pictures. It doesn't look bad in person. Her chest isn't as bad in person. The issue really is how big the collar is. Um, let's get into it. I'm, I'm kind of in shock, and this is a first impression. I also forgot to mention, she comes with a uh, card. All right. Paint is top-notch. You've got a lot of painted details, head, face, eyes, uh, chest, legs. I mean, the paint, you're not going to find better quality paint. The 
build quality is worlds better than anything they've put out in the last few releases. Uh, she feels great and she does look good. But as you can see, she's back heavy. So take that with a grain of salt. You might need a stand for her. Uh, let's get into it. She's got a gimmick here. You lift up her helmet and you pop out her visor, but you're not able to pull that down, okay? You actually have to pop her face out. And there are, I'm gonna zoom in, there are slots in here that uh, there's further set back slots that you wanna slide her face into. And that's gonna give her the clearance she needs to pull down that visor. It does look good. It looks really good. All right. And then uh, pop this bad boy out, bring it up forward, and then you can close her head. No issues. So the head is on a ball joint. So full range of motion, 360, side to side. And there's also a double neck thing going on here as I rip her face off. So excellent articulation in this neck area. There are butterfly joints at the shoulders that come out quite a bit. They also come up here inside the shoulder as well as at the shoulder. So a very wide range of articulation there. You've got a bicep swivel, full 360 degrees at the shoulder. You have a double bend at the elbow. So a real lot of articulation in the elbow. You've got rotation at the wrist. Thumb is pinned permanently bent here. You've got a joint pin here at the base of the knuckle and all of the individual fingers have a shared knuckle minus the pointer finger. That is on its own. Very nicely done. The hands are nice aside from the weird thumb. Waist rotation as well as bend. So quite a bit of posability there at the waist. Hips come out this far. This far. That's it. They do not kick back. They kick forward, but there's only two clicks of posability. There's nothing in between these one, two, yeah, there's two clicks. So not a lot of posability at the legs. Super tight thigh swivel and a double bend at the knee. No rotation at the ankle. However, there's a toe bend and a little bit of up and a lot of down motion. There is a tilt at the ankle. All in all, it's a mixed bag in regards to her posability. Um, upper body is extremely posable. I mean, no question about how posable she is at the upper body. It's mind blowing actually. Um, but that lower body, it's not good. There's, there's not a lot of posability in the legs. And I, I, I'd imagine it's to give you as much stability as possible with that backpack. Just like all MPs, she holds her weapon just fine. She's got pegs in her hands. Let these peg right into. And the fingers wrap around and fit into this trigger. So nicely done on to car's end. The holster I will never use. Just doesn't scream RC to me. But this is her. This is MP51 RC. It's a figure that I feel like give it some time and get used to the limitations on what you can pose and what you can't pose. It's probably going to be really nice. But it's definitely not perfect. I think that they could have done a little bit more with her. Here she is with the Earthrise. 
Jesus Christ. Here she is with the Earthrise RC. Obviously, she's uh, better painted and, you know. And here she is with MMC Azalea Alternative. This is not MMC first release. This is the second release with heels and a darker color scheme. Uh, let me try to static her for you guys so you can just get a view of static poses and whether or not this works. So let me do this. Let me do this. All right. Here's the two of them together. Your choice, obviously, as to what fits your aesthetic. MMC kills it on this backpack. Uh, hands down, MMC kills it on the backpack. MMC kills it on the lower leg articulation. But the look of the cartoon, if you want that Gen 1 official cartoon look, Takara's got it beat. This just looks like it. You know, it looks screen accurate, but um, all in all, it's nice. It's good figure. Um, if you're looking for that tune accuracy, absolutely go MP51. If you're looking for something with a lot of playability and posability, um, I'm going to have to say that MMC's Azalea takes the cake in the lower half. Uh, up here, though, these butterfly joints, this upper half is just phenomenal. Um, I like it. I don't dislike it. I'm not disappointed in my purchase. I, I, I definitely will say that this one's worth your money. I got mine from Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles. Check them out in the link below. As always to my patrons, thank you so much for your support and continued belief in my channel. If you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid signing off.